Hey guys, welcome back to A Daily Dose of Love with Tasha. I'm your host, Tasha Bradley. Thank you all for tuning in and giving me ear time each and every Wednesday. Yes, big shout out to our international listeners. What's up, guys? I hope my voice finds you all happy, healthy, and healing. If you're new to hearing my voice, welcome aboard. Come on in, sit down, take a look around, go play some old content, get to know your girl, get to know me. She's got personality. I'm the hostess with the mostest, baby, and I'm encouraging self-love. I want you to love yourself. self love so underrated, and here we're changing the narrative, and we're just cheering each other on to become the better versions of ourselves. So welcome aboard. It's January the 11th. It's the second Wednesday of the new year. Yes, and our second episode, guys. This episode is extremely special because this year I'm adding a new segment called The Takeover. As you know, throughout my uh, seasons here, we'll be going into season three and celebrating our second year. I haven't really done much interviewing. I talk too much. I'll probably over talk, get on their nerves. So my mentoring coach, Kelly, Miss Kelly Bennett, uh, suggested last year that I do a um, like a introduction to the guests, let them, you know, speak and then close out. So I open our close and our guests will speak. So today is uh, the first episode of The Takeover. Yes, it is. So yay, I'm super excited about The Takeover. And if you'd like to be a part of it, I'll let you know how to do that at the end of the show. But uh, today's guest, our very first guest of The Takeover, I am so honored to have her. She is the highest ranked African-American in a well-known multi-marketing organization. She's a financial coach, a philanthropist, and a new author. Yes, she's all that and so much more. Uh, I'd like you guys to give a big warm welcoming to Mrs. Erica Alexander Cole. Okay, she's going to take over. You all are going to be inspired by her, hear her story, and uh, I'll get back with you. So give me one moment, okay? Enjoy the show, guys. One love. Hold on. Don't uh, disconnect. Keep listening. (laughs) Hold on. Hello, Tasha. Thank you so much for having me on today with your crew. I appreciate you. Um, My name is Erica Cole, for those of you out there. I am a independent consultant with Paparazzi Accessory. I'm currently the highest ranked consultant African-American within the organization. I am a financial wellness coach. I am a motivational speaker. I am an influencer on social media. And now my newest um, addition to all of my careers is I'm a published author. I've recently written a book called Broken Pieces Created My Purpose, along with a self, um, basically a self-fulfilling journal to tie along with that. Um, I want my readers to, as they're reading my book um, and seeing my life memoir, and I kind of put it all out there about myself, my family. Um, As I was writing my book, I said, you know what, how can I help others? Um, And so I decided to write this journal um, piece to accompany Um, my memoir. Um, And so I'm truly, truly excited. It's a great opportunity, especially with a new year. Um, So I wanted to tell, you know, you and your followers a little bit about me and my story and what they would get um, from following me and even um, possibly purchasing my book. Um, I was born in Jacksonville, Florida. So I am a Floridian. Um, However, I've lived in the Atlanta area. I've lived in Alabama. I've lived in Arkansas and now I'm back in Florida. So I kind of moved around. But when I was born, um, a young African-American girl, of course, in in Jacksonville, Florida, my parents, um, I was diagnosed with sickle cell anemia. And so that is a um, a a disease that's among African-Americans. And of course, back during those days in the 70s, you know, it was kind of one of those things that when it was uncovered, uh, a lot of Doctors didn't have a lot of experience with it, especially Caucasian doctors. And so um, for a while, it took my parents to kind of figure out what was going on with me. And then um, I was finally diagnosed by an African-American specialist in Jacksonville, Dr. McIntosh, as having sickle cell anemia. And so my journey with sickle cell was basically that, you know, during those days, they didn't have, of course, the medicines and the different things that we have access to now. I was kind of told that I was going to have a limited, you know, have limited activities, wasn't going to be able to play sports, 
maybe not, you know, want to pursue things like college and maybe on disability and, and the lifespan was kind of, you know, could be up to 40 based off of the severity of the sickle cell that I had. But I fought against all of those odds, you know, and I decided I wanted to go to um, college. I went to um, HBCUs. I went to Florida A&M my freshman year, and then I um, ended up transferring, got my AA degree, but then finished up at University of Arkansas in Pine Bluff, another HBCU. Um, and then from that, my career blossomed in banking. Um, I was in the banking industry for many, many years. Um, and well, let me not say many, many years, made me sound much, much older. <laughs> I'm 45 now. So I was in the banking years for about 17 years before I, um, got over into the multi-level marketing arena and did very well there. Um, started beginning earning seven figures in that industry and, um, accompanied with my previous banking experience, sales and service, training and development, you know, lending, um, started putting out, you know, content with financial wellness and um, motivational, you know, content. And so, and it led me to do this book because I wanted to talk about, you know, my story, my life. Um, even through the midst of all of that, I came from a household with my parents, two parents, but previously both of them had been married. And through those marriages, they had um, children from their first spouse. And blending that family together was very difficult, very, very difficult. And so we had some trying times and me and my, one of my sisters, my um, father's daughter, um, Shay, we just had a troubled relationship growing up and throughout our adult lives. Um, we finally kind of got on track back in about, I think it was like 2016. Um, but then something else happened and we stopped talking to each other and then um, I lost my sister tragically in 2020, literally right before COVID. So I tell that story. I tell about our background, our history, um, and then talk about her death and how that happened. Um, and even through that, you know, even going through that, I have other sisters and other family members that we just have struggled holistically as a family. It was a lot of brokenness and it was things that we never worked on and discuss a lot of times, especially in the African-American community, um, in my age group, you know, you didn't really talk about therapy. You know, this this new age is now really into um, self-care and, and therapy and, you know, and self, self-awareness self and, you know, mental health. But it was one of those things that you didn't talk about growing up. You know, what happens in this house stays in this house. And, you know, you just kind of your, your parents or aunts and say, yo, oh, that one there is crazy or that one there, you know, got some issues, you know, and you just really don't talk about the deepness and the hurts and the pains and even the mental, um, some people having mental illnesses, but not seeing doctors and not seeing professionals and, and working through that and how it really just damaged, you know, my family. So I talk about that in depth in the book. I also talk about the fact that I've been previously married. And um, when I married my ex, I was, we were pretty young. We were in our early twenties. Um, I felt like I was ready for marriage, but he apparently was not. Um, several, <laughs> several times he cheated on me and I kept going back and I came from a a, a family where we were very big. I'm a, a Christian household. And so it was one of those, you know, when you get married, you just stay together, you stay and pray. And so I, I dealt with a lot of stuff that I didn't have to deal with. And finally, when I felt the release from that, and I decided to let go of that relationship, that was best for me and best for my um, best interests. And, and of course, my mental, you know, wellness, I walked away from that. And, um, through that, you know, I, I ended up transitioning and moving a couple times and I ended up moving to New Orleans and then Hurricane Katrina happened and I tell that story and then it brought me to Atlanta, Georgia, uh, where I met my current husband and we've been together now um, for over 15 years and um, married 11 and I have a wonderful stepson and I talk about, you know, the bumps through that relationship and, and becoming a stepmother and um, the transition. And because I had the baggage of watching how my parents handled, you know, their stepchildren, I had to change my perception of what step parenting was. And so I walk the readers through that journey, you know, and how I had to do things differently. I, I couldn't do what I saw in the past and I couldn't assume 
what I saw in the past was normal. And so um, I tell I tell a lot of my stories and, you know, being in the banking world and I had higher level positions, I experienced, you know, several instances where there was um, racism. Um, some in most instances, I was the only African American, you know, at that table. And when I'm talking about that table, I'm talking about a table of executives, a table of management, and some of the things that were said and done that I accepted and that I shouldn't have accepted. But it was one of those, hey, you know, you got here, play the game, figure out how to maneuver through this thing so you can help other minorities. But there were there were some times that I I, I played the game wrong, and so I I try to teach and encourage other young, successful minorities of how to navigate, you know, through those type of scenarios. And so it's it's a lot of great nuggets here. So um, I, I and I talk about, you know, financial, you know, wellness and things that I've mistakes that I've made along the way and how I recovered from those mistakes. And I, you know, do teachings and trainings on that. So I feel like your viewers, your listeners, um, the readers would get a lot of content from this book. Like I said, there's many um, pieces of it pieces of my life and the journey to help me become, you know, who I am today. And, and, and that's my, you know, as I was writing it, it was one of those therapeutic things, but my overall will is that people figure out and say, you know what, I can have a better life. I know that the things that I'm going through are temporary. My broken pieces are there to create whatever my purpose is, whatever my journey is. So that's why I added the self-guided journal which is called healing um, your broken pieces for people to kind of do some activities with me and, and kind of self evolve through the process and become aware of some instances through their life that the reason why they went through those things and how they came out better because of them. So I'm excited. Like I said, it, it the, the book, book actually came out January 6th of 2023, just last week. It was my mother's birthday. And so I held on to it for that. It is available on Amazon. However, people can go directly to my website, ericacole.com. Again, that's E-A-R-I-C-A, Cole, C-O-L-E, dot com. Um, and you can read about me. You can order the book. You can see, you know, other things that I, I do and other services that I offer. Um, but I'm excited. And I just thank you for the opportunity. Um, I know you had asked me five things that I love about myself. And that's crazy because, you know, a lot of times we don't like to talk about ourselves. But I said, OK, let's be honest. Um, so I think the first thing that I love about myself is the relationship that I have with God. Um, he's my all. He's my everything. Um, I, I lean and depend on him um, and, and I trust him. And so even even when I feel like I don't trust him because of the foundation I have, you know, that's very, very important to me. Um, I think the second thing will be my love for family. I'm very family oriented. So um, that would be my second thing. And then the third thing would be, you know, my desire for success um, in every area of my life, whether it be um, success in my career, success, success in my walk with Christ, success in my mentoring other individuals, just whatever I put my hands to. Uh, you know, I ask God first, is it something that I need to be doing? And then I ask him to bless it. So my desire to see success through. And then I think my drive to help others succeed. You know, I feel like, you know what, it's a much money, uh, enough money out here for all of us to make. And so I want to make sure that I'm doing what I need to do to offer support and coaching and development for people that I mentor or anybody that comes in my presence that says, hey, I want to learn this. I want to know this or can you show me how to do this? So um, I have a strong desire to see others win in every aspect of their life, not just financially, but um, even in relationships winning and, and, and in their health winning. And so um, just success in general, just to have a healthier life. And then lastly, I think my directness, you know, sometimes it may come across uh, aggressive, but I feel like, you know, I just shoot straight. Um, I tell people exactly what, if you ask me a question, you're going to get the ear. So I tell people, you know, how, how do you want it? You want me to give it to you raw? You want me to give it to you straight? You want me to sugarcoat it for you? So I got to know what I'm dealing with people and they got to know when they're dealing with me that um, my, my ultimate um, the ultimate outcome is that I want them to be to be winners and I want us to win together. So I think those will be my five things that I love about myself. So again, thank you for the opportunity to share. Um, my story is deep. There's so many pieces to this book. Um, I think it's going to bless your audience. Um, I thank you for the opportunity to share a little bit about my story. Um, you guys can follow me on all social media fl platforms. I'm out there TikTok and having a little fun with you young folks. I'm on Instagram. I'm on, you can find me on Facebook. 
Um, on Facebook, I have two different accounts. You can find me under Erica Cole, E-A-R-I-C-A, last name Cole, C-O-L-E, or Erica Alexander Cole, which is my personal page. You can find me out there. And so I like to cut up and have a good time. But um, like I said, go to my website, ericacole.com, see more information about me, see the content, and please order that book for yourself and for your friends. I, I know it's going to bless you. It's going to touch you. And it's going to be life changing. You guys have a wonderful 2023. Again, Tasha, thank you for the opportunity to share with your listeners. I appreciate you, sis. And I'm God, glad that God connected us. And hopefully we'll chat really, really soon. Bye bye, everybody. All right, Daily Dose of Love Tribe. Wasn't that just the most inspiring uh, start to a takeover segment for 2023? That's what I'm talking about. If you're going to come on this show, that's what we're looking for. Inspiration, the five things you love about yourself. That's how you're going to bring it, okay? And I would like for you all to go show Mrs. Cole some love on all of her social media. Go and publish the book at ericacole.com. That's the uh, her website. Go and uh, support this queen, okay? The book title, again, is Broken Pieces Created My Purpose. I think that's such a powerful title. And it was released on my birthday, January the 6th. Yes, 2023. I love that the book comes with a journal. That is just so awesome. I love everything about this queen. She's so amazing. And I love that she's a team player. She's willing to like put everybody on the team. Like she said, there's enough money out here for all of us. And it truly is. Folks need to think more you know, along those lines. We need mindsets like that. So surround yourself with mindset people that, you know, think like you're thinking. So thank you so much, uh, Erica. You are awesome. You were so inspiring. And I am honored that you were my very first guest for the takeover. Yes, you are amazing. You're welcome back. Anytime you have anything that you're dropping, please let me know. Reach out to me and uh, you have the time, Queen. No problems. No questions asked. We appreciate you, okay? So, again, find her on all of her social media. She's a beautiful queen. Support her. Purchase her book. Tell a friend about her. Tell another friend. And if you'd like to uh, share your story and uh, be a guest of The Takeover this year, please email me at bradleytasha6 at gmail.com, okay? So that's B-R-A-D-L-E-Y-T-A-T-I-A, number six, at gmail.com. If you have a story to share with us, Please uh, reach out. We'd love to have you on. In the meantime, in between time, it is Wine Wednesday. I have a Chardonnay. I know we normally do it at the beginning of the show, and you probably were waiting, going, what's going on? But, you know, we switched it up a little bit. It's a new year, guys. we got new things going on. So when the takeover comes, yeah, it's a little different format here. On three, one, two, three, cheers. Nice Chardonnay. I have good vibes lit. Go over to Self Care Essential Candles. Purchase a candle. And um, just go and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Have an awesome time. Be inspired. Inspire someone else. Love yourself and love those around you, okay? Find me on social media. Remember, I'm trying to get 1,000 TikTok followers to go live. I also need 1,000 to show out and wild out on YouTube. So help a sister out. Tell a friend to tell a friend. I appreciate you all for the ear time the downloads and all that you're doing in supporting me, sharing my content. But I really like to close this show out by giving a big shout out to uh, Miss Jaleesa Collins. She is the one who reached out to me in order to have Miss uh, Erica Cole on the show. And the funny thing is her and I weren't following each other. So it was one of those messages when you aren't friends on Facebook. And I thought, okay. And it was so beautiful of how she reached out to me and wanted to have, you know, Erica on thought that she would be a good fit for me. And after we set up the interview, I spoke with Erica and, you know, it's explained to her what I was doing this year and she was in agreement with it. And, um, we were getting started to prepare for the show today. I was curious and I asked Jaleesa, you know, how did she find me? Because we weren't friends prior to her reaching out to me. And I think this is important for all business owners, uh, new business owners, old business owners. If you're wanting to start something, podcasters, just anyone who's putting their self out on social media to be seen and wanting to connect and network. And she said, thank you. I actually uh, searched through a couple of podcast groups and a few of our local areas as well. And one of the groups I saw you shout out your own podcast. I was drawn to what your podcast stood for. It felt like it aligned perfectly with Erica's book and one of her objectives, which is to encourage self-love through accepting, accepting 
each one's broken pieces and that is ultimately leads to the journey of purpose. I also saw how consistent you were with uploading your podcast episodes and listened to a few of them as well. And I thought, wow, this is so, and she said that she loved um, podcasts as well. So I told her, that's awesome to know. You never know who's watching you. Nice. And she said, exactly. One of the things I noticed through searching is that a lot of people give up over time on their podcast. So I had to keep searching and I love that you didn't. So thank you, Miss Jaleesa Collins. And to everyone who's thinking no one's watching you, someone's always watching you, but the right people are watching you. And you could be missing out on a great opportunity to have a guest like I had today, Miss Erica Cole. So I appreciate you all. Thank you so very much for listening. Don't forget to follow her, follow me, and um, reach out to me if you'd like to be on this episode, if you know someone else who would love to be, okay? One love.